In the mathematical discipline of linear algebra, eigen decomposition or sometimes spectral decomposition is the factorization of a matrix into a canonical form, whereby the matrix is represented in terms of its eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Only diagonalizable matrices can be factorized in this way. Fundamental theory of matrix eigenvectors and eigenvalues Evectivity of dimension n is an eigenvector of a square matrix A if and only if it satisfies the linear equation where lambda is a scalar, termed the eigenvalue corresponding to V, that is, the eigenvectors are the vectors that the linear transformation A merely elongates or shrinks, and the amount that they elongate, shrink by is the eigenvalue. The above equation is called the eigenvalue equation or the eigenvalue problem. This yields an equation for the eigenvalues we call P the characteristic polynomial, and the equation, called the characteristic equation, is an nth-order polynomial equation in the unknown lambda. This equation will have n lambda distinct solutions, where 1 n lambda n, the set of solutions, that is, the eigenvalues, is called the spectrum of A. We can factor P as the integer Ni is termed the algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue lambda I, the algebraic multiplicities sum to n. The Mi solutions are the eigenvectors associated with the eigenvalue lambda I. The integer Mi is termed the geometric multiplicity of lambda I. The simplest case is of course when Mi equals Ni equals 1, the total number of linearly independent eigenvectors n V can be calculated by summing the geometric multiplicities the eigenvectors can be indexed by eigenvalues, i.e., using a double index, with vi, j being the jth eigenvector for the ith eigenvalue. The eigenvectors can also be indexed using the simpler notation of a single index v k, with k equals 1, 2, n v, eigen decomposition of a matrix. Let A be a square matrix with n linearly independent eigenvectors. Then A can be factorized as where Q is the square matrix whose ith column is the eigenvector of A and lambda is the diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are the corresponding eigenvalues, i.e. Note that only diagonalizable matrices can be factorized in this way. For example, the defective matrix cannot be diagonalized. The eigenvectors are usually normalized but they need not be. A non-normalized set of eigenvectors can also be used as the columns of Q. That can be understood by noting that the magnitude of the eigenvectors in Q gets cancelled in the decomposition by the presence of Q-1. Example taking a 2 times 2 real matrix as an example to be decomposed into a diagonal matrix through multiplication of a non-singular matrix. Then, for some real diagonal matrix, shifting to the right-hand side, the above equation can be decomposed into two simultaneous equations, factoring out the eigenvalues and letting. This gives us two vector equations, and can be represented by a single vector equation involving two solutions as eigenvalues where represents the two eigenvalues and represents the vectors and shifting to the left-hand side and factorizing out since is non-singular, it is essential that is non-zero. Therefore, considering the determinant of thus giving us the solutions of the eigenvalues for the matrix as or, and the resulting diagonal matrix from the eigen decomposition of is thus, Putting the solutions back into the above simultaneous equations solving the equations, we have and thus the matrix required for the eigen decomposition of is, i.e., matrix inverse via eigen decomposition if matrix A can be eigen decomposed and if none of its eigenvalues are zero, then A is non-singular and its inverse is given by furthermore, because lambda is a diagonal matrix, its inverse is easy to calculate. Practical implications when eigen decomposition is used on a matrix of measured real data. The inverse may be less valid when all eigenvalues are used unmodified in the form above. This is because as eigenvalues become relatively small, the contribution to the inversion is large. Those near zero or at the noise of the measurement system will have undue influence and could hamper solutions using the inverse.
Two mitigations have been proposed. 1. Truncating small zero eigenvalues. 2. Extending the lowest reliable eigenvalue to those below it. The first mitigation method is similar to a sparse sample of the original matrix, removing components that are not considered valuable. However, if the solution or detection process is near the noise level, truncating may remove components that influence the desired solution. The second mitigation extends the eigenvalue so that lower values have much less influence over inversion, but do still contribute such that solutions near the noise will still be found. If the eigenvalues are rank sorted by value, then the reliable eigenvalue can be found by minimization of the Laplacian of the sorted eigenvalues, where the eigenvalues are subscripted with an S to denote being sorted. The position of the minimization is the lowest reliable eigenvalue. In measurement systems, the square root of this reliable eigenvalue is the average noise over the components of the system. Functional calculus The eigen decomposition allows for much easier computation of power series of matrices. If f is given by then we know that because lambda is a diagonal matrix, functions of lambda are very easy to calculate. The off-diagonal elements of f are zero, that is, f is also a diagonal matrix. Therefore, calculating f reduces to just calculating the function on each of the eigenvalues. A similar technique works more generally with the holomorphic functional calculus, using from above. Once again, we find that examples decomposition for special matrices. Normal matrices a complex normal matrix, which implies that it is also complex normal. The diagonal matrix lambda has only real values. And if A is unitary, lambda takes all its values on the complex unit circle. Real symmetric matrices is a special case for every n times n real symmetric matrix. The eigenvalues are real and the eigenvectors can be chosen such that they are orthogonal to each other. Thus a real symmetric matrix A can be decomposed as where Q is an orthogonal matrix, and lambda is a diagonal matrix whose entries are the eigenvalues of A. Useful facts Useful facts regarding eigenvalues The product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of A. Note that each eigenvalue is raised to the power Ni, the algebraic multiplicity. The sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of A. Note that each eigenvalue is multiplied by Ni, the algebraic multiplicity. If the eigenvalues of A are lambda I, and A is invertible, then the eigenvalues of A minus 1 are simply lambda I minus 1. If the eigenvalues of A are lambda I, then the eigenvalues of F are simply F, for any holomorphic function F. Useful facts regarding eigenvectors If A is Hermitian and full rank, the basis of eigenvectors may be chosen to be mutually orthogonal. The eigenvalues are real. The eigenvectors of A-1 are the same as the eigenvectors of A. Eigenvectors are defined up to a phase, i.e., if then is also an eigenvector, and specifically so is. In the case of degenerate eigenvalues, the eigenvectors have an additional freedom of rotation, i.e., any linear combination of eigenvectors sharing an eigenvalue are themselves eigenvectors. Useful facts regarding eigen decomposition A can be eigen decomposed if and only if, if P has no repeated roots, i.e., n lambda equals n, then A can be eigen decomposed. The statement, A can be eigen decomposed, does not imply that A has an inverse. The statement, A has an inverse, does not imply that A can be eigen decomposed. Useful facts regarding matrix inverse can be inverted if and only if, if and the inverse is given by numerical computations. Numerical computation of eigenvalues Suppose that we want to compute the eigenvalues of a given matrix. If the matrix is small, we can compute them symbolically using the characteristic polynomial. However, this is often impossible for larger matrices, in which case we must use a numerical method. 
In practice, eigenvalues of large matrices are not computed using the characteristic polynomial. Computing the polynomial becomes expensive in itself, and exact roots of a high-degree polynomial can be difficult to compute and express. The Abel-Ruffini theorem implies that the roots of high-degree polynomials cannot in general be expressed simply using nth roots. Therefore, general algorithms to find eigenvectors and eigenvalues are iterative. Iterative numerical algorithms for approximating roots of polynomials exist, such as Newton's method. But in general it is impractical to compute the characteristic polynomial and then apply these methods. One reason is that small round-off errors in the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial can lead to large errors in the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The roots are an extremely ill-conditioned function of the coefficients. A simple and accurate iterative method is the power method. A random vector is chosen and a sequence of unit vectors is computed as this sequence will almost always converge to an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue of greatest magnitude, provided that V has a non-zero component of this eigenvector in the eigenvector basis. This simple algorithm is useful in some practical applications, for example, Google uses it to calculate the page rank of documents in their search engine. Also, the power method is the starting point for many more sophisticated algorithms. For instance, by keeping not just the last vector in the sequence, but instead looking at the span of all the vectors in the sequence. One can get a better approximation for the eigenvector, and this idea is the basis of Arnold iteration. Alternatively, the important QR algorithm is also based on a subtle transformation of a power method. Numerical computation of eigenvectors Once the eigenvalues are computed, the eigenvectors could be calculated by solving the equation using Gaussian elimination or any other method for solving matrix equations. However, in practical large-scale eigenvalue methods, the eigenvectors are usually computed in other ways, as a byproduct of the eigenvalue computation. In power iteration, for example, the eigenvector is actually computed before the eigenvalue. In the QR algorithm for a Hermitian matrix, the orthonormal eigenvectors are obtained as a product of the Q matrices from the steps in the algorithm. For Hermitian matrices, the divide-and-conquer eigenvalue algorithm is more efficient than the QR algorithm if both eigenvectors and eigenvalues are desired. Additional topics Generalized eigenspaces recall that the geometric multiplicity of an eigenvalue can be described as the dimension of the associated eigenspace the null space of lambda i minus a. The algebraic multiplicity can also be thought of as a dimension. It is the dimension of the associated generalized eigenspace, which is the null space of the matrix K for any sufficiently large K. That is, it is the space of generalized eigenvectors, where a generalized eigenvector is any vector which eventually becomes zero if lambda i minus a is applied to it enough times successively. Any eigenvector is a generalized eigenvector, and so each eigenspace is contained in the associated generalized eigenspace. This provides an easy proof that the geometric multiplicity is always less than or equal to the algebraic multiplicity. This usage should not be confused with the generalized eigenvalue problem described below. Conjugate eigenvector A conjugate eigenvector or com eigenvector is a vector sent after transformation to a scalar multiple of its conjugate, where the scalar is called the conjugate eigenvalue or con eigenvalue of the linear transformation. The con eigenvectors and con eigenvalues represent essentially the same information and meaning as the regular eigenvectors and eigenvalues, but arise when an alternative coordinate system is used. The corresponding equation is for example, in coherent electromagnetic scattering theory. The linear transformation A represents the action performed by the scattering object, and the eigenvectors represent polarization states of the electromagnetic wave. 
In optics, the coordinate system is defined from the wave's viewpoint, known as the forward scattering alignment, and gives rise to a regular eigenvalue equation, whereas in radar, the coordinate system is defined from the radar's viewpoint, known as the back scattering alignment, and gives rise to a con eigenvalue equation. Generalize eigenvalue problem A generalize eigenvalue problem is the problem of finding a vector V that obeys where A and B are matrices. If V obeys this equation, with some lambda, then we call V the generalized eigenvector of A and B, and lambda is called the generalized eigenvalue of A and B which corresponds to the generalized eigenvector V. The possible values of lambda must obey the following equation in the case we can find linearly independent vectors so that for every where then we define the matrices P and D such that then the following equality holds and the proof is and since P is invertible, we multiply the equation from the right by its inverse, finishing the proof. The set of matrices of the form A minus lambda B, where lambda is a complex number, is called a pencil. The term matrix pencil can also refer to the pair of matrices. If B is invertible, then the original problem can be written in the form which is a standard eigenvalue problem. However, in most situations it is preferable not to perform the inversion, but rather to solve the generalized eigenvalue problem as stated originally. This is especially important if A and B are Hermitian matrices. Since in this case is not generally Hermitian and important properties of the solution are no longer apparent. If A and B are Hermitian and B is a positive definite matrix, the eigenvalues λ are real and eigenvectors V1 and V2 with distinct eigenvalues are B orthogonal. This case is sometimes called the Hermitian definite pencil or definite pencil.